the latest merchandise that Bollywood has to offer and has in abundance in its uh, warehouse is patriotism. It's tried to list out the hard sell of uh, patriotic cinema ranging from the most abrasive to the least subtle. There are all kinds of films that seem to suggest that if you aren't, if this is the time for you to be patriotic and it's an hour and scenario, this is celebration time. Is there any coincidence? Is there a time denominator? We are all too close to history to look at it objectively. I think sometime down the line, when the remains of intellectuals wake up to write the pages of this period of our history, they would arguably write about the intellectual talent, its integrity, and the freedom with which they exercised it in a period of time. Reverting to the mains and to talk about the film I'm talking to you about is about this hero, the Yodha, played by Siddharth Malhotra and conceived by Sagar Amre and Vishwaroja, the directorial twins or the directorial deal. Well, if one can't, two can't either, is what you thought is about. You had five pages, you had five, you had Gunjan. I can go on naming a few more. Films of uh, thrills on the midair, thrills, thrills in midair, the thumping, patriotism of the Indian. They've never fallen short of it. Why is there an oversight? Hardly. I think we're the one of the most patriotic countries and one of, considering we're one of the greatest ever countries in the history of mankind. Why this oversell? I can't understand. We're so good. We're so brilliant. We have such great artists and what a great civilization and we're doing so well. So why this hard sell is there something hidden there, I'm not able to decipher. But I can tell you this much, Yoda is a non-starter. Well, if you chose Siddharth Malhotra and Rashi Khanna as your main actors in the film, and you have a support cast, none of whom the average film girl is going to identify unless he's done a Google search before he got into the theatre, you know that this Dharma production has not spent enough and more on its actors. Also notice that some 20 years ago, our cinema had a definable set of actors who played different kinds of character roles and you identified them when you saw them on screen. Now you don't know them, therefore they come with a clean chip and go back with a clean chip because you've forgotten their 15 minutes before the film ends because many of their characters have come and gone long ago. And the tragedy is, while the filmmaker may have the view that he's hidden the nuance of a character and sprung him on you at an unexpected time, on screen you can make out who's the good guy, who's the bad guy, and you forget their names, even before you can spell them. There's a problem also with most of the cast in you know? Yoga. And this is coming from a guy who is a reasonable film buff, who sees cinema often and keeps talking to you about it. And if this be my plight, it's going to be very difficult, in fact, bordering and challenging to many a film viewer to know who is who in a film. And with added beards and rustic looks, sometimes many of them look similar. You sometimes make an effort to find out whether he's on this side or on the left side, or the right side, the wrong side of the border. Coming back, 
This is a body dispute. Again, you know who the enemy is. There has been a plane hijack, Operation 1, where a special force, which was historically created by Surendra Katya, played by Ronit, Rohit Roy, Roy or Mata, and he has a wife in Farida Patel Pinkat, who for some strange reason has a eight, nine minute role in the entire film. Every time she just has to come in a wheelchair, stare at a few people and go back. That's all she does in the movie. Then we have Junior Katyal or Arun Katyal, which is Siddharth Nivetra, who is in this flight, which is hijacked. And he finds it so easy to cut open, get into the cabin, move into the luggage area. Unfortunately for him, he's an action man and he fails to deliver in this operation when he's been told to keep quiet. Both on the ground of failure and for insubordination, he's court martialed and placed under suspension. His entire team, including his good friend, Samir Khan, played by Tanuj Vishwan, are all under suspension. And most of them cannot survive a suspended period for long and therefore look for giving up being in the task force and going into other limbs of the forces. But to Arun, his connect with the special forces that it was his dad's creation, his twin brother, and therefore he would need. Fast forward, he has serious misunderstandings with his wife Priyambada Katya. The marriage is on the rocks, they've exchanged divorce papers. Priyambada is incidentally played by Rashi Khanna, who is a high-level bureaucrat who is in the thick of the hijack and is a part of the person who's called upon to give evidence and is honest in her evidence, which leads to the suspension of her. Fast forward, uh, there's another flight that Arun Katyal takes, another flight which is being hijacked. The timing is perfect because uh, there's a high level of talks between the heads of nations of India and Pakistan and uh, somebody out there wants to sabotage it. Do they sabotage it? How do they go? This time around on flight, he has Disha Patni, who plays uh, Laila, the main crew member. There's also Kritika Bharadwaj, who's played Tanucha Shatma, a suspect for her odd behavior. Then there is uh, one man called Dhingra, played by Chitranjan Tripathi. Everybody is throwing their weight around so artificially on this flight, a sensitive flight going to Amritsar. And everybody's antenna is up, they're over the top. And the filmmaker doesn't lose an opportunity to zoom the camera on everybody so that you can suspect all in sundry. The hijack happens. Again, it's coincidental, opposite that Arun Tatyal is on flight. The rest of the film is all about how brilliant we are, how much of courage, talent, capacity you guys have, and how we are such a great set of people who are willing to give up ourselves for the country, etc. Et and then we are all tired and we say, okay, fine. And what does this film finally do? This pulpit patriotism is, I think, getting a little bit tiresome. You may have a biography releasing this week, you may have a political, historic films, a new Kashmir Files is on the 371, Article 371 is out. A lot of these kind of cinema that's making us all very conscious, very knowledgeable. We are being sensitized to all that we need to know. Wonderful. Indian cinema has become so proactive. Great. Dharma Productions, hands off to you. 
Uh, let's wait very soon. They may also be on board producing something like the Shreem files and uh, Article 271. And we can all sit back, enjoy, we can have our popcorn and go. After all, we are all very patriotic. And we need to be very patriotic, you see. It's one of the biggest virtues. And we are told about that so often, in spite of the fact that it's so ingrained in us. Siddharth so Malhotra, to carry an entire film as weak as this on his shoulder, suspect, bad engineer. Disha Patni, as an air hostess, is good. But to give him more than that was unfair. Both to the script and to Disha Patni, and to the audience. Rashi Khanna, I don't think even the filmmaker took a series. He took her almost as seriously as he took Farida Patel. This Chitran Jantrapati who comes with a few moments if we have to search, dig, scrape and find something positive. What is the film finally contributed? It has contributed one song that we are going to hear now, one added song to Republic Day in Independence Day. Asad Rahe, Abad Rahe, Leherate Rahe Remember the song? I'm sure we all will. How much we love patriotic songs and all that. So we are going to remember the song. I'm only worried that uh, Dharma Productions and uh, Sagar Amri and Pushkar Oja were a tad disappointed that the audience did not stand up and salute out of reverence and treat um, Azad Rahe, Abad Rahe, Leherate Rahe, Tiranga as a new anthem of this country. But by the time, the only reason they may not really have saluted is they were digging into their popcorn boxes or they were sipping their coke. And they are more, they are the kinds of priorities, you see. Otherwise, Yotha is a, oh, he battles soldier on a thoroughly messed up battlefield. Let's sign off with that. Acknowledging both Abhinav and Dhatu for contributing to this exercise, reaching out to all of you. Do write sometimes to me. I sign off most often and most often people have better things to do than comment about my comments about that cinema. Understandable. But I do acknowledge your patience of watching this level and continue to hope that some of you will write back on that note. Bye-bye.